biggest threat to a sea turtle isn't a hungry bird or a crab or a fish. It's not armadillos, feral dogs, raccoons, or jaguars. It's not a killer whale or even an aggressive shark. The greatest threat to a sea turtle is us, humans. Sea turtles have thrived in our oceans for millions of years. Unfortunately, human actions, ranging from coastal development to commercial fishing, have greatly impacted their population numbers. Today, six of the seven species of sea turtles are listed as endangered or threatened in most of their range. Among the biggest threats to sea turtles are boating and fishing. Speeding boats can injure or kill sea turtles, while fishing nets can entangle them, making it difficult for them to breathe. In fact, studies show that tens of thousands of sea turtles are accidentally caught in fishing gear each year, and many of these incidents result in death. This is known as bycatch, and it's a major problem for sea turtles. Many are accidentally ensnared in fishing nets and traps and are unable to free themselves. In addition, some commercial fishing practices, such as shrimp trawling, involve dragging large nets along the ocean floor, destroying vital sea turtle habitats in the process. Another major threat to sea turtles is plastic pollution. As our oceans become more and more polluted, turtles mistake plastic bags and other debris for food, leading to serious health problems or even death. Plastic pollution is so widespread that researchers estimate that more than half of all sea turtles have ingested plastic. Other types of ocean pollution impact sea turtles as well. Oil spills can coat sea turtles in thick, slimy oil and kill off local food sources for years to come. Agricultural and industrial runoff of contaminants such as fertilizers, chemical nutrients, and untreated waste can cause sea turtles to become ill. Even if these spills are small, long-term exposure to these chemicals can weaken the sea turtle's health. Coastal development and tourism also pose a significant threat to sea turtles. As more and more people flock to beaches to soak up the sun and enjoy the water, the natural habitat of sea turtles is increasingly disturbed. While these beaches are fun vacation spots for us, they are crucial nesting sites for sea turtles. Light pollution can impact sea turtles. Bright lights from hotels, resorts, stores, and homes can disorient hatchlings, causing them to head inland instead of towards the ocean. Baby turtles rely on the natural light of the moon to guide them to the ocean. This problem is especially acute in urban areas where bright lights can be seen from miles away. In some parts of the world, people also hunt sea turtles for their meat, shells, and eggs causing populations to dwindle. Despite laws and regulations designed to protect sea turtles, hunting remains a problem. In small coastal towns, this problem can be complicated. Hunting sea turtles and collecting eggs can be a cultural practice and is often the only source of income in isolated communities. And last but not least, climate change is also a major threat to sea turtles. As our planet warms, sea levels rise and ocean temperatures change, sea turtles struggle to adapt to their changing environment. Rising sea levels and more severe tropical storms can destroy nesting habitats, while changes in ocean currents can make it difficult for sea turtles to find food or navigate to their breeding grounds. On nesting beaches, warmer sand temperatures result in more female sea turtles being born. Eggs incubated at warmer temperatures produce more female hatchlings, which can lead to an imbalance in the gender ratio of sea turtle populations. The impact that humans have had on sea turtles cannot be understated. Sea turtle population numbers in many areas of the world are a fraction of what they once were. Fortunately, there is hope. Conservation efforts over the last several decades have resulted in growing sea turtle populations in many countries. But our work is far from over. Sea turtles, like many of our ocean's creatures, are in need of our help. It's up to all of us to make sure that we advocate for these animals. Stay tuned tomorrow for the final episode of Sea Turtle Week, the mini-series. 
to learn more about sea turtles and how we can all work together to protect them.